Hey guys, Tools on the Budget back again. Uh, today we're doing a review of the Milwaukee 2453-20. Uh, we're going to do a quick torque test. Um, I know we're going to lose torque by by using an adapter. But we're just going to see, just to, see um, just to get an estimate of how strong this little thing is. I bought this one in the beginning of 2017. And amazingly, it still has about 6 to 7 months worth left of warranty which is uh why i highly recommend milwaukee the their warranty is super long um so this is the the brushless model they do have a a newer the gen 2 this is the first generation fuel i believe um their newer one is a lot slimmer and a lot stronger and i think i believe it has three power modes and one auto um, this one only has uh, low and high. Um, it's been a great little tool. It's kind of beat up a little bit, but I try to take care of my tools when I pay a lot for them. And um, we are going to be using a 2 amp hour battery, fully charged. Um, so let's, let's start, see if it can take off 100 foot pounds. And uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys. All right, so let's start at 100 foot-pounds. Keep in mind, this is going to lose some torque with the adapter and the it's an extra long one too, but we're not trying to be too scientific here. We just want to see if it'll do it in real world. Easily. Wow. I'll go back down a bit. All right, let's try 120. Down real quick. Here's one twenty. strong let's try 130 I'll put you down real quick one thirty Little gun's a beast. Now let's try 140. Hundred and forty. Now we're gonna do 150. I might have to go bring the bigger torque wrench out. One fifty.
All right, hold on, guys. I'm gonna go get my bigger torque wrench. All right, guys, so 160. Still fully charged. One sixty was just a little bit too much for it. But keep in mind, this is a four four year old tool. Um, they do have a smaller version that'll that's a lot that's a little bit stronger and a little bit smaller as well. So I'm sure that one would do one sixty. Um, overall, this is a great tool if you're looking for something compact brushless you probably won't be able to find this one anymore but you can find uh, the gen 2 which i would also highly recommend that one um this is a quick insert call that i believe oh it's hot um i mean if you do find one of these i i would also pick one up i mean not for the full price but my neighbor picked one up for like 40 dollars with two batteries off of offer up so if you find something similar to that, that's also that's a good deal. Um, but overall, it's, it's a good little gun. Um, Milwaukee rates it at 1,200 inch pounds, which is 100 foot pounds. So as you see, it exceeded that easily, even with the torque loss. Um, this is this causes quite a bit of torque loss because of the how long the shaft is. But I mean, it does what it's meant to. Um, this also, this is a generic battery, by the way. This one, this is a genuine though. I, I like these for my. Uh, I have the M12 uh, Rover Light, so I think eats through them when I put it on high. Not really eats through them, but when you're working, it kind of feels like it eats through them because time flies. But overall, this is a good tool. Um, can't really go wrong with Milwaukee. Especially since I bought it four years ago and it's still covered under warranty. So there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you like it, um, hit the thumbs up. So hit, hit the subscribe button if you guys enjoy this content. Um, if you don't like it, just hit the thumbs down. Um, thank you guys for all your feedback and for all the support. And have a great day, everybody.